Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, you guys, check this out. Okay, well, apparently, uh, Tony Yoka has been suspended for a year. You know, Tony Yoka is a Olympic gold medalist, and he recently uh, became a professional boxer, and he is under Richard Schaefer's promotional company, Ringstar, if I'm not mistaken. Now, apparently, the reason for his suspension is that they attempted to, I guess, randomly drug test him at least on four occasions, and he wasn't there. Now, I will say this. I read the article. Now, two of the times they attempted to test him, he was not in France. He was in the United States training, you know, at the Virgil Hunter gym. So, if Tony Yoka told him he wasn't going to be in, in France and he was in the United States, then why are they upset with him and why is he being suspended? If, if he's not home, then he's not home. If he's in a totally different country, then you might have to reevaluate that. Now, to me, I feel like the suspension is kind of kind of bogus because I'm pretty sure he alerted them and said that he was going to be in the United States and even hey and even so hey he has a right to go train so the thing is with this I'm not going to pile on Tony Yoka because after all nobody's piling on the other guy you know all I've heard is a legion of excuses you know basically people saying they don't want to hear about it. They saying they just want to fight. So people just got their moral scruples like mixed up on what's right and what's wrong. It just depends on who the person is. Guess you gotta be, you know, I guess you gotta be black to get uh raked across the coals. Because obviously, if you another color, you you gonna get a pass. So, I mean it is what it is with the Canelo situation as far as Tony Yoka go, I didn't, you know met Tony Yoka, I didn't interview him, I didn't talk to him, he's a nice, he's a nice dude, so I hope this works out for him, you know, he says his lawyers is on the case, so maybe, you know, they'll come to some kind of uh, resolution to this, Tony Yoka is already uh, 25 years old, so he's already got a late start, as far as boxing goes, most boxers turn professional you know, at the age of 18, 19, 20. So, you know, Tony Yoka is a little bit behind. So a year, you know, a year kind of could hurt him. You know, Tony Yoka needs to get in get in the mix right away. Big dude, six foot seven. I mean, huge. Tony Yoka is huge. So hopefully this works out for him, man. I'm out.